Hey there, thanks for watching Google Drive in under five from TeacherCast University. Today we're going to be talking about the Research tab in Google Docs. Let's say that you're creating a document on Abraham Lincoln. And first thing that I want to do is I want to add some interesting things to this. Maybe I want to add a picture, maybe I want to add a little bit of history to him, maybe I want to go find some other information out there about Abraham Lincoln. I can do a few things. I can open up a brand new tab in Google and I can do some Google searching or by hovering over the tools bar here, I can also use the research tab. And I'm going to click on the research tab and over on the right we have a brand new Google search bar, but this is a special one. Not only can we search everything in Google, but we can search for images, we can search through Google Scholar, we can look through quotes, we can look up Abraham Lincoln in the dictionary, or we have two other things here. We've got personal and table. Now personal is looking for all of the documents in your Google Drive that have to do with Abraham Lincoln and also tables. I'll show you in just a second. So let's just do a quick here search for Abraham Lincoln. And when I click on that, you're gonna see I have some pictures, I have some facts, we have some quotes, we have some web resources, we have a lot of stuff that we can do here. Let's see if we can narrow it down to just images. And you can see here we have some images of Abraham Lincoln. If I like this one here, I'm just gonna click over here and I'm gonna drag this into my document. And just by clicking on that, we can wrap the text to make that look nice. And let's say that I wanna find some quotes. Uh, I'm gonna click over here on quotes. And here comes a bunch of Abraham Lincoln quotes. I can simply take this one here. Let me do an enter. I'm going to insert this quote right here. And you can see it automatically. It's formatted. We have quotes. We have Abraham Lincoln. And down here, it automatically creates the citation. You can see here the first citation is for the picture. The second citation is over here. Going down, we have Google Scholar. And let's use this here. We're going to insert this right here. And you can also see that as we put another footnote in, that's going to show up. If we look at dictionary, we can look up Abraham Lincoln in a dictionary. And it says there's no search results. Maybe he didn't really exist. If I look at personal, you're going to see all of the documents around here that have anything to do with Abraham Lincoln or tables is really, really interesting. You can see some tables that have to do with Abraham Lincoln. For instance, this one here talks about the presidency and who the vice presidents are. This one here happens to talk about presidential elections. So as you can see, there's a lot of interesting things here that you can do to enhance your Google Docs experience. I hope you liked this video and found it helpful. If you did, click on the like button below and leave us a comment. If you wish to receive more videos from TeacherCast, please click the subscribe button on the top left of this video box and visit TeacherCast.net for more information about Google and other great educational tools. Don't forget to catch TeacherCast live every Sunday night at 7 p.m. as we bring you the Tech Educator Podcast on TeacherCast.tv.